for some more people to join in. Hi. I hope you're doing well. Did I just spit? <laughs> That's attractive. <laughs> I'll wait for a couple more people to join in and then we'll hop into the topic today. Thank you. Um, they said cute top. So this is actually a hair scarf. I take my scarves and I use my scarves for my hair and also as tops. So and then I have this little mm. iced coffee, Vietnamese iced coffee. Let's just make sure I'm securely tied because this is live, y'all. Okay. Hi, so I have enough people in to start a combo. So, love you, Harry. You look fire. Thank you. So, today we're going to talk about a topic. Um, today's topic is about names. The um, Why names are so powerful. Why names are spells. They are also a ritual when you name something or someone. But also, I'll be doing a Q&A at the end, so um, if there's questions that you may have either on topic or just about me personally or about anything having to do with magic or spirituality or metaphysical or anything about psychics and, you know, things like that, things of that nature, we can talk about that at the end. And um, feel free to share your comments as well. Make this a, a, a discussion. That's the word I was looking for. A discussion <laughs> okay so where can I put this let's put it here so names I have always felt strongly that it's really 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 important to be very selective of the names that you choose whether it's a name for yourself or whether it's a name that you are naming a person or a pet or an object that you love or even hair like people will even name for example wigs or even businesses will name wigs for example that carry a certain energy a certain vibe and then when somebody wears that hair they take on that energy and that vibe that essence the same thing goes when you are naming someone. So I don't know how many of you have actually taken the time to research what your name means and where it comes from. Um, I would suggest that you do because you can then relate it to um, the energy of that name and how it is, has impact, impacted you and your life and your personality and maybe even some of the experiences in your life. I don't know that my parents knew um, the power behind a name when they named me um, but I do think that the intention of when you give a name um, is really really important so like for example the name my parents gave me it felt good to them it felt right to them it felt powerful to them even though they may not have known the actual energy or meaning of what that name meant hey autumn good to see you um, so even though they may not have known the power behind that name they gave me, they knew it felt good, it felt powerful to them. So um, I'm not gonna share my full name, but my first name is, um, by full name, not my first, middle, and last, but my, hey, <laughs> my first name is Erica, and when I researched the origins, I can't remember what exact culture right now off the top of my head. I wanna say possibly from Norway or something like that, but I could be wrong could be wrong don't quote me but what I do remember is that the name's meaning meant eternal ruler I don't know if my parents knew that when they named me but I feel like as I grow into my confidence and my leadership and my power and my magic I'm like yeah I'm an eternal ruler you know what I mean and then archer you know obviously you think of an archer who shoots a bow and arrow um, which translate into many different areas of my life a focused intention um, hunting energy to go after what I want and need um, also in the sense that I have indigenous um, heritage as well as well as um, african-american black heritage too so you know bows and arrows were tools used like I said to hunt or you know to get what we needed to survive and to you know to live so my name very much carries a very strong powerful energy same goes for you guys now um, so I would encourage everyone to look up what their name means 
However, keep all of this in mind when you are naming someone or something like my pets, for example, her name is Nuta. That means my heart. And um, the, the language is from an Algonquin language for my heart. And she very much is my heart. And I've had dogs before. I had a dog named Rascal. He acted like a rascal, like he was bad. So this is what I, names are spells. When you name something, you cast an energy over someone or something. Eternal ruler, Athena, the, the Greek goddess archer. Oh my God, thank you for putting that together. I didn't even think of that. I like that. I like that. Maybe, I know I was Greek in one of my past lives before I've had many, but I know I was Greek before in one of them. Um, so yeah, maybe she had a special connection with me during that past life in this one. Yay, see my parents didn't even know what they were doing. <laughs> they just knew it felt good. Um, the name Melissa means honeybee in Greek. That is so cool. That, that work, I, that fits for you. That really fits for you. And you know, bees, you do give me bee energy. Like bees one they're a sign of um you know abundance and prosperity to come also that you're about to be very busy you know they say busy bee busy bee and also um working community very social like sophisticated and smart too like bees and ants i very much uh respect because they are just running high high operations and organizations under the, like under the ground and in their um hives you know what i mean like it's freaking amazing so i love that energy for you that's why i'm always working lol yes that is why you are a busy bee melissa i definitely see that energy on you um so i say that to say like keep these things in mind when you are naming someone like your child or naming a pet like think about the energy you really want them to carry you are casting an energy over them now um obviously you know you do have some people that if they really don't resonate with the energy of their name like for example let's say you were named after someone else and you don't really resonate with that person's energy people do change their names or maybe they choose to go by a nickname you know a nickname of their choosing which could be even more powerful because then you chose that energy but choose wisely you know what i mean um i've noticed too with people that are named after somebody else they either are the complete opposite of that person because they they don't want they don't want to they want to be their own individual they don't want to necessarily be like a replica of that person's vibration i've noticed that but also other people i've noticed that will take on um that person's energy on strong levels like they're very 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 much like that person they're named after so i feel like it can go one way or the other and then you know the people that make up names you know like they put two names together or they name they, i'll just make up names you know the people that make up names that are not actual um names that come from any particular culture or background or um word even you know um we all know those some people like that i have some in my family <laughs> what i've noticed with those people though are on the positive side they could be people that are extremely 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 creative because their energy is like brand new it's not a name that's been passed down or it's not a name that came from this culture or this meaning or this background so it's something unique to them and so i've noticed that they can be really really highly creative or just different like kind of like the black sheep of the family or something like that but or a black sheep of the community but in a really good way um or i've noticed on the negative side some people that haven't fully like tapped into their power and they're still dealing with their shadow work with the made up names like that or in particular they could be like have identity issues you know what i mean like they have identity issues in the way of they don't really know who they are what they're about and they're struggling to find that they can find it but i've noticed those energies when it comes to names like that i appreciate their creativity for making up names yeah yeah <laughs> yeah um i'm laughing because i'm i have family that has made up names and i'm just thinking of how they are and their personalities and yeah creativity is there um <laughs> so um just again just be very mindful like the names is going to carry different energies also just in terms of like let's say you are naming someone after somebody else or let's say you are um making up a name like what is the energy of 
I'm just giving an example of parents when they're naming the child, uh, their child something, or maybe even parents of fur babies at naming a pet like, but let's just use human babies in this case. Um, if you're naming the child after somebody else, or if you are um, making up a name, what is the energy that you're carrying when you're casting this spell, this magic over this child? Um, are you naming them after this person to like make somebody else feel better or to make that particular person who they're named after feel like they have more of a purpose or something like just kind of think about it because you don't want that child to then carry the energy of like feeling like they have to live up to somebody else's name because that may not be their purpose that might not even be their mission and that could be why so many end up being the complete opposite energy of um the person that they are named after uh while others end up being just like them you know just think about the energy that you're in when you're doing that is it positive is it high vibrational or is it low vibrational and maybe not very well thought through just think it through you know what i mean the teeth the hair the tan love it thank you the tan is from joshua tree compliments of the desert <laughs> um let me get some more coffee oh people that were adopted people that were adopted and had their name changed or people that maybe got married or something and had their name changed that's going to cast a new energy and a new spell over that person because then you then carry the history of that name you know what i mean so like if you are somebody who was adopted or if you were somebody who gotten married and you now carry you've had different names before and you now carry different names now um like let's say your name was katrina when you were born and then they changed your name to cynthia when you got adopted you know look up both names research the history and the energy of both names because you carry both and like if you were married and or got married and your last name was brown and now your last name is Gonzalez, you know, look at the history and the energy of both names, even down to how it's spelled with the letters, because there's a reason, like, I'll just give an example, there's a reason why um, Spanish language last names have a Z versus an S, like sometimes you'll see Gonzalez spelled with a Z, sometimes you will see Gonzalez spelled with an S, there's reasons for these things, historical reasons for these things, so it's good to have this knowledge in terms of, like, the history you're carrying, um, and the spell has that has been casted over you and your energy. And spirit agrees that that's important because we hear the siren going off. Also, um, you know, this goes for objects, like I was saying as well. Some people name, I didn't name my, my watch, but like some people name their favorite <laughs> items like um, a watch or a car. My, my, some people give their car people names and that casts an energy over it or like red lightning, you know what I mean? That's an energy. <laughs> um, some people, like I said, even their hair will give their hair names or if you buy wigs and stuff like the wigs often come with the name already attached to it so i would say research the energy of those names before you even buy it to see if it resonates with the energy that you want to take on or not um things like that so just be mindful of names names are spells and if you you know people do change their names as well or go by a nickname i go by my nickname often now as well i carry my nickname as well but it's more like close family and my boyfriend mostly that use my nickname so for those of you that don't know um i have my business instagram and a link to that is my personal instagram those are my only instagram pages anything else that pops up it's not me um my nickname is coco my nickname is coco i'm not gonna tell you guys why my name is coco but that's my nickname um uh, because that's like a personal thing i don't know if they want me to share it if he wants me to share it or not but I, I do buy with the essence of why my nickname is Coco. It's very much me. So um, I claim that as well. So people, you can choose a new name for yourself, whether it's a nickname or changing your name, if you don't resonate with the name that has been casted over you. But I happen to be very proud of my name, Erica, the eternal ruler and the archer. And now somebody pointed out the Greek goddess, I think it was Athena, did you say, is the eternal ruler and the archer. And so I will take that thank you um hey what's up guys hey jazz so um does anybody have any comments they want to chime in to the conversation or I'm gonna open this up to question and answer now so 
you guys have questions for me, if you guys need advice on something, if you guys are just curious about something that maybe you've seen or heard related to anything magic or psychic or anything like that, now's the time to comment. Uh, let me know and I'll check back. I'll look up to check the comments in a second. Let me just grab that. <clears throat> and if you've missed the beginning, I will save this also and put it up on my YouTube provided that technology acts properly. <laughs> I'm about to give this name, this hair name. What should we call her? What is she, what vibe is she giving you? I love your hair, thank you. She's giving me kind of a bee, honey, honeycomb kind of a vibe, but I don't know what to call her yet. I'm making me it's making me want extensions that I don't need. <laughs> you need them if you cast a spell over them, if you enchant them to manifest something. That's my excuse for everything. <laughs> hmm, what are we gonna call her? Hmm, any suggestions? I kind of want to give her like a Polynesian name. That's the vibe I'm on lately. Y'all aren't gonna help me name her? Come on. What does Moana mean? <laughs> is that a real name or is that a made up name? Like we talked about earlier. <laughs> Name her Melissa. She should be Melissa. She is a busy bee. She's got me busy and she's got like this honeycomb vibe. Just kidding. No, I think you're serious. I think you want. She can be Melissa and then maybe I'll have a little bit of your energy with me. <laughs> okay, we'll call her Melissa for now, but she might choose to change her name later. <laughs> I'll take that energy because I like the meaning of your name. I really do. What are your thoughts about the idea of the Victorian industrial names era of long lineage names? Uh, hmm, that's a good question. Do you mean like how, just for clarity, like do you mean like how, like let's say King Henry, right? And you have King Henry the first, King Henry the second, King Henry the third, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. But yet, like, their name wasn't actually Henry. They just take on the name Henry because that was, like, the, the first of the kings. Like, their could, name could have been Joffrey, Jeffrey or Joffrey or something. And then, but when they become king, when they become crown, they become Henry. Is that what you mean? Or, like, just care, like, is that what you mean? I'm just trying to clarify. Because if that's the case, like, I think it's kind of going back to the beginning of what I was saying that, like, be mindful that you're then taking on the energy of that person that you're named after well you you are very likely taking on or could take on the energy of that person that you are very much named after so if you don't really like that energy um like you you can kind of shift it to where you're like you maybe you're the opposite of it you know what i mean but it is still something that you are it could be like a karmic lesson or or um like a spell that you then need to learn from and overcome if that makes sense do they present more power because they have the same name for generations? Oh, okay, that's what you mean. Okay. Yes, exactly with the King Henry. Wow, wow, wow. Okay, okay, cool. So I got what you're saying. Okay. Um, my personal opinion, I don't really care for it too much because I think as times change, we require new energy. And I feel like rather than just taking on the name of someone just because they happen to be the first if you don't really resonate with it like i feel like you should be able to choose that a new name or to you know carry that a new um chapter if that makes sense i don't really care for that 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 way of doing things is not for me but again it's no not to put not to judge not to say it's wrong or bad or anything like that i just i personally don't really care for it because i'm someone who really really believes that names are spells so um if i don't vibe with a particular energy of a name or something then i'm gonna change it and go buy something else <laughs> so 
yeah hopefully that makes sense hopefully that answered your question i think it's very interesting and i actually didn't even know that they did that until maybe like two or three years ago like i thought they were all named henry like i thought that there was their name like that they were born with i didn't know that sorry the helicopter i didn't know that they had a different name at birth and then that they were just crowned with that name i didn't know that until not too long ago um how do you wait wait i missed something how do you use hair to manifest i have a whole youtube on that i have a whole youtube on that so um i, I think it's called how to cast spells with your hair or how to manifest with your hair i forget how i actually word it but if you go to my youtube you click videos and if you just search after you click on um, videos under my channel you could just put like psychic goddess erica hair or something and it should pop up or magic with hair or spells with hair i forget but in that one i have green hair so that's how you know it's the right video because i have green hair in that one it was cute though i know some of you are probably like oh green hair but no it was cute on me it was cute on me <laughs> anyone else before i get running and get to some of the orders for the day i have a surprise i'm working on for you guys i'm not going to tell you what it is i will tell you it's cards related though two surprises but yeah and thank you to everyone who's been buying my decks i really really appreciate it i have three available so far working on more someday i will do a tarot but for now i'm sticking to the oracle decks <sighs> much more to come i have so many ideas so many different decks i want to put out there for different reasons to help people tap into their own intuition okay thanks you're welcome yeah check out that video um and also too like the other thing is why i don't give guidebooks with my decks is because like let's say let's just pull a random card okay no not that one we already saw that one earlier okay so this says doesn't add up so when doing a reading there's no guidebook with this there's no like information to really go off of other than your own personal psychic downloads and intuition so this is why i create decks like this because it, it allows you to really tap into your own psychic ability to channel the messages to fill in the blanks because you don't have pictures to go off of you don't have a guidebook you have to channel what this message means for you and your situation or you or the client and their situation or whatever spirit chooses to say when this comes up it's like i like to compare it to like when you're doing a writing a paper and this and um the teacher or the professor says hey write a paper write a 20 page paper on apples it's on you to figure out the rest of the information on to fill in those pages same thing with these that's why i do oracle decks like this um to help you enhance your own natural psychic ability yes it did thanks for sharing this also checking out your youtube after this thank you so much oh you're welcome yes please subscribe yay all right so i think i'm gonna run because i need to do some work and my dog needs to go outside so if you miss this i'm gonna save this put it on youtube and i'll talk to you guys another time bye